Kendall's husband passed away like five minutes ago. What do you what do you expect me to do? Hop into our hospital bed? I do have more than one friend. <laughs> I was talking about Madison, not Kendall. Madison. The yes, blonde. Yes, oh. I saw you two in that room together and you seemed to be connecting. So what do you think? We were like soulmates? I just thought she might be someone you might be interested in. My mistake. Okay. Yeah, I do okay finding my own dates. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Just be sure to stay away from smart, beautiful women like Madison because they're obviously too much of a challenge for you. Oh, someone's pissed off. Is it because I'm still treating your husband? I am no longer responsible for David. Yeah, I know that. You passed him off. Do I have to remind you what that man put me through? You may see him as some sort of brilliant mentor, but I... I'm not doing this. Mm. I do not want to talk about David. Yeah, you're too busy playing matchmaker. What are you doing? Uh, Where did you get this? Madison left it here. Okay. Now listen to me. I know that you've been dealt a really bad hand recently, but most people waiting for a heart transplant usually die before they get one. You've been given a second chance, but that doesn't mean you're indestructible. You think I don't know that? I feel like I'm falling apart here. Okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. So. Here's your opportunity to fall apart where it's safe, in the hospital, before you go home to your two little boys. Because when you're there, Kendall, you're gonna have to start taking care of yourself, stop neglecting that heart of yours. And seeing a shrink might not be a bad idea either. Okay, all right, would you please stop lecturing me? I'm doing the best I can. I think that you can do better. Because if you don't, your kids may lose another parent. Stay back. You don't want to catch this. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Are you sure you should be out? Uh, well, I don't have a choice. Moms don't get sick days, so. Well, moms get breaks, right? Welcome to my big break today. I am making an emergency run for medicine and Crystal's chicken noodle soup. <laughs> I ache all over, but I, I can't stop now, so. Well, is there anything I can do? Oh, thank you. Uh, thank God Jake got his shift covered for the rest of the afternoon, because I don't know how I could do it, but uh, I don't know how single mothers do it, you know? Uh, more power to them, right? Right. But luckily, there are lots of great nannies out there. And we have one of the best ones. Just don't ask me how much she makes. Is that bad? But worth every penny. You'll see someday. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it's worth a shot, right? Hey, look, you know what I can do is I can just make some phone calls. I can no, see what else is out no, there no, if you no, want. Don't, don't worry about it, really. It's not personal, man. You know that. No. I, I get it. But when I do land somewhere, look out. Yeah, well, I look forward to the competition. And thank you very much for the heads up about JR, okay? Yeah. All right. Good luck. Yeah. Hey, um, before you go, how's, how's Emma? She's good. She's good. She's 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 really good, actually. Great. Hey, have you uh, have you heard from Annie? Uh, no. But you sound a little concerned. She's just been a little bit tense lately. That's all. Well, sounds like Jr's still in the mix. Look, do what you gotta do to protect your little girl, but watch out for them. All right. Ugh. You're gonna be okay. Oh. Look, I'm gonna call a doctor. What? No, 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 no. Jer, I, I need you. I don't need a doctor. I think you do. No, no. You don't it's want fine. this to get any worse. It's it's just the flu. I must have gotten it from Amanda, and Jake even told her there's nothing he could do. So. Well, still, I'd feel a lot better if someone took a look at you. I'm fine, really, unless if it gets into my lungs. Right, your asthma. It's another reason to call really, the doctor. Really, I'm I'm fine. Okay. Please just stay with me. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, would you mind um getting me a glass of water? Yeah, sure. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for coming. I know how busy you are. It's okay. I don't know what I 
would have done without you. I'll always be here for you. J.R. Chandler. Hi. Um, are you okay? You left in such a hurry. Tell the office to leave you alone. You're with Annie. Yeah, she got sick uh, at the office. She's running a high temperature. It's a bad flu, so uh, I had to take her home. JR, you can't be around her. Even though you're in remission, you can't afford to catch the flu. I had my shot. The doctor told you that it's not 100%. After the lymphoma, your immune system is compromised. Please, don't worry. I will always worry about you. You're AJ's father. You have to protect yourself. Just leave Annie now. 